my name is Gwyneth James Girl, and welcome to a walkthrough of the Breadwinner quest in Sims Free Play. This is the first quest within the game. Once you've completed the tutorial, this is the first actual quest that you get to do. If you haven't seen the first video in this series, I definitely recommend that you go ahead and watch that first because this series is all about you guys and your input. I want Sims in this series to be named after you, for you to describe how you want their relationships to happen, how each Sim looks and who you want them to get married to and what their kids will be and it's all about what you guys want for this series so definitely leave below any suggestions for Sim names, Sim looks, uh, relationships that are going on within my game already or our game I should say if you want certain Sims to get married or certain Sims to become enemies let me know all of that down below in the comments. But let's get started with the breadwinner quest. Like I say, it's the first quest that you do within the game after the tutorial. You have to be at level five. So as long as you've got to level five and have completed the walk through the little tutorial at the start of the game, you will get this pop up that says new quest available, breadwinner. Complete this quest to unlock the cooking hobby. A wide variety of exciting recipes awaits your Sims. So it will unlock the cooking hobby, which is a fantastic hobby to have. It's really good for earning some extra LPs, and maybe I will go through that either later on in this video or in another video. But let's go ahead and get started. Oh, so I was about to start the quest, but I have a pop-up for the weekly tasks. So maybe I will talk about the weekly tasks another time, but weekly tasks are definitely worth doing. Lots of people don't do them, but they are definitely, definitely worth doing. You win a key every week and the key, these keys unlock some amazing prizes. But we won't talk about that now. We want to focus on the breadwinner quest. So you can see down at the bottom it says complete the breadwinner quest to unlock the cooking hobby. Perfect for the sim partial to the culinary arts. There is no time limit on this quest, which is a good thing just to kind of ease you into it at the start. Normally with quests, there is a time limit and... Sometimes those time limits can get pretty tricky, so it's kind of nice not to have one at the very beginning. The first thing we need to do is to watch Sim Chef on TV. Your first quest. Quests are adventures to unlock awesome new content. Let's get started. When was the last time your Sim had a nice meal? Have them watch Sim Chef on TV to get some ideas. So we need to go, who should we use? There are two Sims that we made in the first episode as recommended by my subscribers, were Chloe Pepper and Emma Thompson. I think maybe we will go into Emma Thompson's house and use her. Ooh, we have a little present here. Should we open it up? Let's, we'll leave it for now. In fact, actually both Sims are here, so that's good. We'll leave that there for now. And we need to click on a TV and watch Sim Chef. This takes three minutes. You will see above where it says Bunny Ears TV, there is one star. Every single item in your home store, or every single item, most items in your home store, items that you interact with in this way anyway, have either one, two, or three stars. If it's got three stars, the action will be quicker. So, for example, this one star TV, it's going to take us three minutes to watch sim chef with a two star it might take us two minutes 30 with a three star it might take us two minutes which doesn't sound like much when we're talking about small numbers but you'll see maybe like longer events it could be for example a three star bed may take something may take 19 hours to like i think it's like sleep all day something like that it's like sleep all day is 19 hours whereas on a one star bed it's 24 hours so it's it makes a big difference with other potential interactions that you might do with objects but go let's go ahead and watch some chef for three minutes so while she's doing that i've come over to chloe's house because i want to kind of just give you a few tips simoleons at the very beginning can be very hard to come by you might get into a quest where you need to build a certain building out on the town map and you haven't got enough simoleons so what you want to be doing is definitely get your sims jobs so we could send Chloe here to work. We're not going to send her to work right now. I would recommend, right now we haven't got the cooking hobby or anything really that we can do, but don't leave your Sims idle doing nothing. It is wasted time. It's wasted It's wasted everything. They could be earning money. Your Sims should always be earning money. So for example, if you go, 
So maybe if you go to school, send your sim to work whilst you're at school or when you go to bed and they can be earning some money. I also recommend putting a garden patch down and using this all the time. Any spare sims that you have at the moment, have them gardening. As you can see, you can place down various different vegetables and different items and they will give you XP and simoleons. You can see down at the bottom, or should I say at the top, so take the carrots, it takes five minutes to grow carrots, it costs three simoleons to grow, but then you get 32 simoleons and you get 20 XP. And you can see for the different ones, depending on, you know, if you've got, if you know you can't come on for an hour, get your sims planting a couple of watermelons and those simoleons just all add up. So definitely, little tip for you there, get planting straight away. We have leveled up to level 6, so we've unlocked a sim, unlocked a house, and we've got various different items of furniture that we've also unlocked. And we got an LP as well, which is always nice. There's quite a lot of furniture here. And then we've got some windows, some doors, some floors, some outdoor stuff, and another item that we can cook. We have finished watching Sim Chef on TV. Now we need to buy a stove. Sims need a stove to cook and you can find them under the kitchen tab of the home store. Your Sim is getting excited. So, oh look, she's weed herself again and she's smelly. So let's just clean up her mess there. And to buy a stove, so we go into the home store and then into, oh look at all the new things that we've got. Into the kitchen section, which is this one here. So we could get the little stove that called it a two star. But stoves, when I was talking before about the one star, two star, three star items, stoves are something that doesn't really matter what the star is. So just to kind of keep costs down, I'm going to get this one star, 350 simoleons. Oh, duplicating items now made easy. Tapping the purchase and create button that will purchase the item, then place a second item ready for purchase. Oh yeah, this is a relatively new feature within the game. So let's place that down in the kitchen. We have bought a stove. Cook bacon and eggs on a stove. Watching Sim Chef on TV made your Sim hungry for bacon and eggs. Make some on the stove. So we just need to tap on the stove and choose cooking. So we'll come out of home. We'll click on the stove and there's two options here. You can do cooking or baking. Baking is kind of a little bit like the gardening that you will just get there's no kind of purpose to it really other than to make simoleons and XP. It's a good way to get simoleons and XP though if you want to do that with your sims. But we don't want baking, we want cooking and cooking is the cooking hobby which obviously that is what we're unlocking with this and we need to cook bacon and eggs which takes five minutes. You can see from the others you have to have certain levels in the cooking hobby to be able to cook other things and so for the uh, the cheese and tomato on toast, you need the toaster one star. So at the moment, all we can cook is bacon and eggs for five minutes. Emma has finished cooking. Oh my goodness, I really do need to attend to her need. But you have to go ahead and click on that little pop-up that comes up. Cook bacon and eggs on a stove is complete. Now we need to eat the bacon and eggs. That smells so delicious. Time to eat. Tap on a dish and choose grab a plate to enjoy. I think Austin has just peed themselves. Yes, they have. <laughs> oh, we got a bronze spatula. So we've started the first hobby that we have available in the game now. We've started the cooking hobby, which is awesome. This is like the grid that you get with all of the hobbies. How hobbies work is there are certain collectibles that you need to collect. Well, you need to collect all of the collectibles and then you will win a prize. The first time you complete the cooking hobby you will unlock these chopping boards. Then subsequent times you will get like 5 LP and it changes and it's different obviously for every hobby. Let's clean up that pee. That's no good. I really do need to look after these sims don't I? Sorry Emma. When she's cleaned that up she can eat some of this bacon and eggs. Is it bacon and eggs? And let's grab a plate. That takes 10 minutes. That will make her a little bit happier to get some food inside her. Also, since I've started recording this, the first episode has gone live on YouTube, and oh my goodness, I just want to thank you so much for all your support on the video. There has been so many suggestions, and so many of you want a sim involved in this. I will try my hardest to get as many of you as I can 
included within the game. An idea that I liked from a couple of people was for Emma and Chloe to kind of be friends but then have this like bad boy come along and like they both like him and one of them starts going out with him and like the other one like steals him off her. I kind of like that idea. But I do need a male sim for this. Most of you that are commenting, I'm just planting some peppers with Chloe just to get a little bit more money. Most of you that are commenting that want sims are females, are girl sims. I need some blokes. So either any blokes out there, please comment down below that you want a sim. Or if you are a girl, comment down below with, you know, a guy's name, guy's suggestion. Because uh, I definitely need some males in my town. It can't just be an all-female town. I'm all for girl power, but we need some males here. And let me know if you like the idea of kind of friends that become enemies over this guy. I kind of like it. She has finished eating her bacon and eggs. Now we need to wash the dishes. That tasted great, but now it's time to clean up. Tap on the plate and choose clear up the dishes. So let's go ahead and clean up. We also, she needs to take a shower. Poor Chloe. Is it Chloe? No, it's not Chloe, is it? It's Emma. <laughs> She's finished washing the dishes. Now search the bookshelf. Your Sim Nicole's Grandma Sim's cookbook was on a bookcase which are in the living room section of the home store. Search for one. Note, don't forget to use your lifestyle points. They're great for speeding things up. They are, but we don't need to do that right now. Let's just take a quick rinse because she is a smelly sim. In fact, we should maybe, should we call over Chloe? Chloe is not so happy either. Chloe can clean up this mess. We still have this present to open. We're gonna open it at the end of the episode. See what we get in there. So let's click on the bookshelf because we have one over here. This is only a one star bookshelf. We need to search the bookcase for two hours and 42 minutes. We probably could do that quicker if we chose a two or three star, but that's fine. I'm happy with doing a two hour, 42 minute thing. You could, if you wanted to here, use LPs to speed things up. So you click on it and it's one LP for every hour. Apart from like the first hour, you get like one hour and 59 minutes and 59 seconds takes one LP and then every additional hour after that is another LP. Personally, I don't think it's worth it, especially as there is no time limit on this quest. We can take as long as we want on this quest and just ease ourselves into the game. So definitely I would not use any LPs at the very start. Trust me, the more you get into the game, the more you will wish that you had LPs for speeding things up, for buying different types of furniture and things. So definitely not worth it in my opinion right now. We finished searching this bookshelf. Now we need to buy a toaster. Phew, grandma's cookbook is dusty. The first recipe is for cheese and tomato on toast. Buy a toaster from the kitchen section of the home store. So if we go into the home store and then into the kitchen section here, there will be a toast. We have a one star toaster there and that is the only toaster we can actually get at the moment. So let's go ahead and get this shocking toaster for 750. We'll place it down in the kitchen there. Now we need to cook cheese and tomato on toast. Grandma's cookbook says that you put bread in the toaster, hit the button and bam, you get toast. Tap a stove or a toaster, select cooking, then cheese and tomato on toast. So we are gonna start the cooking hobby here. So you can click on the toaster there and do cooking, or you can also click on a stove. You get the option of baking there as well with a stove, but let's go cooking and cheese and tomato on toast. And that only takes one minute to do that. She's just finishing up using the toaster there. And oh, new cooking level. So Emma has been promoted to hot mess maker, which is level two out of six levels that we have within the cooking hobby. And you go ahead and click on that. And that is task complete. Now we need to eat the cheese and tomato toast. Grandma Sims cheese and tomato on toast recipe is ready to be tasted. Tap on the plate and choose grab plate. So we got another item for our cooking hobby here, which thankfully it's a new one. There are 18 different ones we need to collect. We have got two different ones, which is always good. You can get repeats with these things. And you can see that some of them are white. So we are level two now, so we can collect 
the first row and the second row, we can't collect any of the further other ones, the ones that are kind of greyed out, because you can just see that it says L3, L4, L5, L6. That's the level, so you need to be at that level in Cooking Hobby to be able to collect those. So we can't collect those at the moment. You need to keep working at the Cooking Hobby to be able to collect them. But let's go ahead and let's eat this. She placed it on the floor, my goodness. Let's go ahead and grab a plate for 10 minutes. We have eaten the cheese and tomato and toast. Now we need to invite a sim over. Oh, cheese and tomato on toast is so delicious. Time to show Simtown what you can do. Invite another sim over. So, I already had another sim over. If you didn't already have another sim over, let's just come out of that one second. If I didn't already have another sim over here, I would have to have gone into the sim tracker. In fact, let's send Chloe home so that I can show you, just in case you don't know what you would need to do. Okay, so she's gone home, there's just one sim in this house, so into your sim tracker, you can see Chloe's got a little whistle next to her name, we will whistle her over, and that would be task complete, obviously we've already completed that. Now we need to cook burgers. Your guest's tummy is rumbling and you reach for the cookbook. It reads, hungry guests, grandma sims diagnosis, burgers. Cook some burgers on a stove. Note, unlock burgers at level two of the cooking hobby. So you may or may not have a sim at level two of the cooking hobby right now. In fact, let's just take a quick look at hobbies. Okay, so we can see that Chloe has no hobby. Emma is level two of the cooking hobby. She just reached level two just before. But if we try to, let's, I'll show you with Chloe. If we try to make burgers with Chloe, you can see that it's greyed out. We can't do it. We need cooking hobby level two. If you haven't got a sim at cooking hobby level two, then just keep making cheese and tomato on toast until you get a sim up to level two. When you do have a sim up at level two, you can get them selected. Click on the stove, cooking, and you can see there she can make burgers for 20 minutes. While she's doing that, I'm gonna get Chloe started on the cooking hobby as well. I'm gonna send her home, and I'm gonna buy her a toaster as well. And we also need a stove. So you need to get a toaster and a stove over in another house. And then you can start doing cheese and tomato on toast with your other sims. Like I said before in this video, making cheese and tomato on toast is something, well, it's something that I do very often within the game to boost up my LPs. It really does help. So yeah, I want, I want to try and get a sim up to level six in the hobby. And then once the sim is up to level six, we can collect all of these collectibles, fill the grid. The first time we will unlock these chopping boards, but then after that, we're going to get five LPs each time. So I want to get a sim up to level six as quickly as I can. And making cheese and tomato on toast is the quickest way to do that. So Emma has finished the burgers. We'll go over to her in a second, but I wanted to show you that by making cheese and tomato on toast, how quickly you level up. So if you see that Chloe is sort of just started level four. I've just been making some cheese and tomato on toast with her. You can see they're all down there on the floor. Oh, we've got another new accessory. You can see I've been collecting a few different ones. So cheese and tomato on toast is the best one to do. It is a bit of a messy job and you do have to go along and like clean up as you go, but you can like start the clean up and then cancel it to speed it along like this. So clean up, it takes two seconds and then just cancel just to get it going a little bit faster because you don't want all those plates all over the place. We'll just keep her going with cooking more cheese and tomato on toast and let's go over to Emma who has finished the burgers, which is what we needed to do for the quest. So we'll click on the burgers. That's task complete on that. We're almost finished, 84% now. Now we need to call to meal success. The burgers are ready and smell mouth-watering. Tap a plate and choose call to meal. Note, the higher your sim's cooking level, the more plates of food they will make each meal. So, oh, we've got a silver grater. That was a repeat one there. So if we click on here, and you can click on any plate. It doesn't have to be the burgers. Just click on the call to meal over on the left, and any sims within the house will go and grab a plate if there are enough plates for them. And we don't have to wait for that to complete. We just have to call them over for the meal. Now we need to rest eyes on a couch. Succulent, flavoursome and a delectable. Whew. After all that eating, your sim needs to relax and digest. 
have a sim rest their eyes on a couch. So you can do it with a different sim or you can just cancel the action or you can speed it up with an LP but like I said before I wouldn't be using the LPs if I was you this early on in the game. So I'm going to cancel that action and I'm going to get her to rest eyes for five minutes. This is only a one star couch so it's five minutes for that and I'm going to continue with Chloe cooking more and more cheese and tomato on toast to get her up to level six. Because cooking gives you quite a lot of XP, we have leveled up to level seven. We have got one LP as a reward and we have unlocked a sim. So we can add another sim to our town and then all of these items. So white fridge, Mr. T, we have the sci-fi counters. I really like those. I don't use them very often because they are LPs to buy. We got some sound systems there, some stereos, laptop, TV, some new beds, wardrobes, kitchen sink, not kitchen sinks, bathroom sink, showers, lots of stuff here. Some new tiles, some new bricks. Oh, we can now make croissants and we've got sunflower. I love that sunflower, it's so pretty. Emma has finished resting her eyes and we can see that we are 100% at the bottom there so we have finished this breadwinner quest congratulations you've unlocked the cooking hobby buy new appliances and train hard to unlock new recipes for your sim families and friends to enjoy and we now have a new quest which is available to us the money grows on trees quest that will be in the next episode of this let's play so make sure you are subscribed and you click the notification bell so you get notifications of when i upload a new video but thank Thank you for watching this video make sure you let me know down below any suggestions for how you want these sims to interact with this remember I need a boy sim suggestion down below please so thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you soon for a new video bye yeah.